Gumshi. She ain't here with the lady of the night, Ariane, and she's looking completely fabulous, girl. This is so risque. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, was that your first choice for tonight? Actually, you know, I wanted to come in sexy but still classy, and uh -huh. you know, my designer Tamichi made this, so it's one of a kind, and you can't find this anywhere at stores. Oh yeah. I am so happy for you, and of course, all the fans couldn't help but to notice that you have a ring on your finger. Is that like an engagement ring? What's going on? I mean, this is a promise ring. Right now, we're both focused on our careers, and I feel like we have time. My career is my number one thing right now, and when the time's right, then we'll make it happen. And of course, we're here tonight to celebrate the single release of Bye Bye. Congratulations on it. I know you put so much blood, sweat, and tears into the gym. Tell me about the inspiration. I mean, honestly, I just wanted to be unique and come up with something different, and I feel like what you're going to hear tonight is going to be a little bit of hip-hop with a little techno mixed with a little bit of my flavor. Okay. Yes. And obviously, girls, since you're on a hit reality TV show, there are a lot of haters out there, and all those haters are like, what? Ariane, she can't sing. She's a total diva. To all the haters out there, what are you going to say? All I can say is, girl, bye. <laughs> and what are some of the things you really look forward to saying bye to? Um, honestly, I mean, actually, I love my haters. They're inspiration because I feel like if people aren't talking about me, then I'm doing something wrong. So many cat fights. Second season of Total Divas on Eve. Um, yeah, you know what? Season two is definitely going to bring a lot of drama. But you know what? I mean, I don't want to give too much because I don't want to spoil it. But I will say there's lots of drama. I mean, you're going to see things with Nikki and John. I don't know. Maybe she may be getting engaged. And, you know, focusing on my brand and making a brand for myself. And, you know, there also is a little bit of controversy with um, an R&B artist. Really? But, yes. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest, I absolutely love watching the show, but every time I watch it, I feel like there are certain girls, I'm not going to say who, who are working extra hard because the cameras are on. How do you feel about that? You notice it too, huh? Yes. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like, do you, and if you're a star, you're going to shine, and there's no need to put extra on it. Because, you know, people are going to love you for who you are. So that's just how I feel. And I feel like, you know what, I really don't mind the other girls, because at the end of the day, I'm doing me. Okay. And would you say the chemistry is pretty much the same when the cameras are not rolling? I mean, pretty much. I mean, at the end of the day, this is WWE, and there's only usually a few spots and us girls are all trying to crawl to get to that number one spot but I feel like if you have what it takes there's no need to you know fret about it and for all the girls out there watching you looking at you as a source of inspiration how can they get to be a WWE diva I mean honestly like if it's something that's a that's a passion that you have and for me being an underdog if you really want something I say go for it sky's the limit